Hey YouTubers, Mike Borders with the Mike Borders channel. Thank you for watching. Unfortunately, we have a tire on our vehicle that is losing tire pressure. Let's go outside and see what we can find out. All right, YouTubers outside, we are working on our Chrysler Pacifica and the driver's side front tire, it just keeps going low. And right before bed last night, I filled it to its proper fill parameter, 36 PSI. Test the PSI, and as you can see here, 28 PSI. So from last night until now, which is definitely less than 24 hours, it has gone down eight PSI, and that is not normal. So I've got the engine running, which will help assist in turning the wheel. So let's hop inside and turn the wheel. All the way to the right back outside what you want to do is inspect the entire radius of your tire and make sure no rocks or nails or anything sharp has punctured your tire little rocks or covers like this you'll know if that's what's causing the leak in our case something like that is definitely not so go the whole radius we'll hop back inside turn the wheel to the left back out front and There it is. So unfortunately, this little tire tackle kit is not going to work. And our goal was to replace the inner Schrader valve inside there. I'll shut the engine off and show you what I'm talking about. All right, YouTubers, I've got the engine off now. And again, if you inspect the entire radius of your tire and you don't find anything that gives you the assumption or thought that your tire has been punctured, what you want to look at next is your internal Schrader valve inside this little portion here. And opening up the tire tackle kit, you've got a pressure gauge, you've got some caps, you've got some internal Schrader valves, and you've got this little tool here. And pull one of these out. And there is a gasket, that little black portion, and that helps create this seal. And this will go inside here. You will notice the threaded portion right there. And you'll notice that it has your tip here. And this tool is what takes the old one out and inserts and secures the new one. So unfortunately over time, this little gasket, it fails and it begins to let the tiniest leak coming out of your tire and in most cases you won't even hear a hissing sound because it'll be so quiet so what I'll do as you can see there's nothing really to replace in this part you do have to carefully and safely drain the air out of the tire and then remove the old one insert the new one and fill the tire back up scrolling above is a step-by-step -step video that we made previously on a Chevy Cruze that we replaced this part if you want step-by-step -step guidance definitely check that out check that out I just took this out and as you can see, that's pretty sharp. You can hear that whole hissing. I'm going to plug this tire. However, I'm not going to bore you with the process in this video. What I will do is post a link down below in the description section, as well as the comment section on how to properly and safely plug your tire with this awesome kit you can purchase at your local AutoZone. All right, YouTubers, I want to show you the plug that I inserted and created that airtight seal. I then filled up the tire to its proper PSI. And what I'm going to do is snip those tips off. And over the next week, I'm going to monitor the PSI in this tire. And I will say, I've done this several times. And I am here to tell you, these plugs are awesome. They are very reliable and very dependable. So before going out and buying a $250 tire, maybe you can just add a plug that costs you $5.